I congratulate my friend Nikola Dobroslavich on this local dialogue in the beautiful city of Dubrovnik. I am very sorry that I cannot be there in person due to another commitment. I think it is particularly important that, especially in these critical times, when a brutal war is raging in a European country, we intensively discuss EU enlargement policy in the Western Balkans and not only discuss, but finally act. The EU's enlargement policy must once again become a real priority in the EU policy. The terrible events in Ukraine and the associated massive consequences in this entire European security structure require a radical change in the EU enlargement policy. If we continue with the policy of announcements, empty phrases, general promises, and bogging down in irrelevant details without concrete results, non-European undemocratic powers will use the frustration of the people in the Western Balkans to consolidate their influence in this part of Europe. Foreign powers that are not supported by peace, democracy and human rights will then be sitting in the middle of Europe. We therefore need an enlargement booster for the EU and that means a step forward for everyone. Intensification of the existing negotiations with Serbia and Montenegro with the aim of an early conclusion. Immediate start of accession negotiations with North Macedonia and Albania. Declaration of Bosnia-Herzegovina and Kosovo as candidate countries. Concretely implemented reforms must result in immediate progress in the negotiation process. Promises made by the EU, such as visa liberalization for Kosovo, must be kept immediately. And finally, we must do everything to ensure that the negotiations between Bulgaria and North Macedonia come to a quick, positive conclusion and that Bulgaria gives up its incomprehensible blockade of starting negotiations with North Macedonia. What we can see is that the top-down approach has largely failed. Hence, EU should focus on the bottom-up approach. That means regions and cities. So, compliance with the principle of subsidiarity, decentralization and strong local self-government should be an essential criteria for progress on enlargement. Trust is the most important asset. Europe cannot afford to lose the pro-European citizens in the Western Balkans and Southeastern Europe. With this in mind, I wish the conference in Dubrovnik a lot of success.